Here's Douglas. Oh, and Daly. Oh, and the ball's in the back of the net. It's come off Josh Meekings, who's the unfortunate man. John Daly gets the credit, but he actually made a bit of a mess of his opportunity, and it just hit Meekings, and there was nothing that Reguero could do. Good ball in from Barry Douglas. Daly was free, and his shot hits Meekings. Armstrong now. Now Daly. Graham Shinney is across to deal with the danger, although he's got to do something with it. Not that, though. John Daly makes it two. And a couple of the most bizarre goals you will see. Dundee United certainly won't mind, because they are two up here. Graham Shinney just waited. Indecisiveness creeping into Inverness's play. And Terry Butcher cannot believe it. They've only played six minutes. Rankin. Armstrong now. Gunning. Looking to clear his lines. That's left by Daly. And Armstrong breaking onto it. Rudy Scatchel is in great space here. And it's 3-0 after eight minutes of play. Rudy Scatchel with his first goal for Dundee United. And Inverness are absolutely crumbling here. Defensively, all at sea. And Dundee United, how they have made them pay. Rudy Scatchel with a calm finish. Now, Graham Shady, can he make amends for that mistake that led to the second goal? Foran. Oh, and there's Billy Mackay, and they've got one back. 26 minutes played. And Inverness are on the score sheet. It's 3 1. Just diverting Richie Foran's effort. A real poacher's finish. Doran taking this corner. Oh, and there's Mackay, it's 3-2, and Inverness can believe again. Two goals in the space of a couple of minutes. Again, another instinctive finish as Johnny Russell mistimed his jump. It's Raven. Raven again, but the ricochets find their way to Draper. Down he goes, penalty kick. Awarded by John Beaton, Willow Flood. Just got the wrong side of Ross Draper, a barge in his back. And it's Billy Mackay for the hat-trick. And what a comeback this has been from Inverness. Graham Shinney. That's Tudor Jones and off the line by Johnny Russell. Still on, though, for Inverness. Graham Shinney. Oh, and a free header. Oh, and it's perfectly placed. Gary Warren. And Inverness are ahead. Terry Butcher cannot believe what he's seeing. His side were three down. They lead 4-3 with just four minutes to play. And what a header it was by Gary Warren. Can Doran control it? It's there for McLean. Watson now We're getting near last chance saloon. In goes the ball into the box. Oh, penalty kick! John Beaton points to the spot. Richie Foran cannot believe it, but this has been given for a handball against the Inverness captain. And it's John Daly against Tony Reguero down the middle. And it's 4-4. Nobody closing the Spaniard down, and he's still going into the box. Borja, oh, he's gone down under the challenge of Langfield. The penalty kick has been awarded by Craig Charleston. Clipped by Jamie Langfield. And Jason Brown's first act will be to pick the ball out of the net because Liam Kelly 
has Kilmarnock in front at Pitodri. Perhaps a chance to break here through Gary Harkins. James Dayton. Mackenzie. Aberdeen just caught with lacking numbers at the back now. Oh, and there's Kelly, and that's his second of the game, and that will wrap it up for Kilmarnock. Mulgrew to take the corner kick. Up goes Wanyama, and it's in the back of the net at the second attempt. Wanyama denied, first of all, by an excellent save by Samson. Samirin couldn't clear it, and there was the Kenyan to fire in his third of the season against St Mirren. Mulgrew with the corner. Oh, it finds its way to Gary Hooper! And at last, Celtic have their second for all their dominance. It's taken until the 83rd minute for them to score their second goal. It's Gary Hooper with his 13th of the season. It's Claros. Kearney to Taiwo, now Doyle turns and runs at the Motherwell defence, pass Hutchinson, Lasley caught up with him, but it's still on, it's Griffiths, and his touch just let him down, I like him, but he's done well to keep it alive, Weatherspoon looking to hit the byline, Doyle, that's 1-0, Owen Doyle with an accurately placed header on the end of an excellent setup from David Wotherspoon. Higdon can't win it, and Kearney just launches that one for Doyle, who's all alone here, and the first-time effort finds the far corner. What a brilliant hit by Owen Doyle. The confidence from his first goal really showed in that finish. He took it first time on the half volley and blasted past Darren Randolph. Motherwell won their last three away games, but they find themselves two down here. Hately now. Humphrey, who's been in fine form, can he spark a comeback? Humphrey, Murphy, 2-1. And it's game on again here at Easter Road, Humphrey with the ball across, left by Higdon, and there was Murphy, a simple finish. Higley. Higdon back across, oh, Murphy's there! And it's 2-2, and Motherwell have come from two down, and Jamie Murphy, with ten minutes left to play, has got Stuart McCall side level. Hibs have lost three of their last four in the SPL, and it's Motherwell who look the more likely now. So Yama trying to win the game here for Motherwell. McHugh! Oh, it's 3-2! With two minutes left to play, Bob McHugh, the hero for Motherwell. Irvin giving away one back, though. Richard Britton has lost out there to McAllister. Now Lockwood, back to Jim McAllister. Now just looking to find some space. This is Ian Davidson. He's going to have a strike here. Davidson! And the swerve of the ball deceives Mark Brown and Dundee leads here in Dingwall. From 30 yards out, Ian Davidson and just look at the action on the ball. Cooper. He's given it away, though. Riley. Well, he's lost out. Fitzpatrick into the middle. It's not clear. Kettlewell. Cooper. And now Glenn. And it's in the back of the net. At last, Ross County have found a way past Rob Douglas, and it's Gary Glenn with his first goal for the club. Driver, onto oh, the back post, Sutton! A quarter of an hour play, John Sutton opens the scoring here at McDermott Park. 
It was straightforward. Driver's free kick. Sutton with the header. Craig, good touch into Vine. Now McLean. And he can open it up to Peter Pollitt, who makes his return to the starting lineup today. Miller overlapping. Cross takes a touch. Oh, and there's round Vine! And the lead lasted less than one minute for Hearts. Rowan Vine has his third goal in a St Johnson jersey. When he scores, they tend to be important goals too. Up goes Sutton. Oh, and there's Driver at the back post. And they're back in front. Seven minutes before half time, and it's Andy Driver. Another crucial role played by John Sutton with the flick on header. Driver couldn't miss. Into the box, but well headed out by Hearts. They could have a break on here, but given away by Smith. Oh, and Davidson's in behind now. Across the face of goal, and it's McLean with a tap in. St Johnson. Our level on the hour mark, Stephen McLean with his fourth goal of the season, and it was so easy for the finish.